Um, this is a painting from the Austrian artist Kiki Koganik. She was born in 1935 in Bleiberg in Austria and then she uh, uh, studied art in Vienna uh, between 1954 and 1958. In 1961 she uh, decided to move to America and especially to New York. She wanted to escape to the weight and uh, uh, the particular mood of uh, Austria in this uh, post-World post War uh, period. Uh, when she uh, moved to New York in 1961, she discovered a New York completely overwhelmed by uh, the pop aesthetic that was blossoming at that time in the galleries. And she developed her own pop aesthetic made of representation, and also of a mix of very bright colors. This painting is uh, from uh, 1963. It is called Miss Universe. We can see here a kind of super heroine. We have the impression that she is uh, trying to fly in the air and to escape to the gravity. And she has the earth in her belly and she's floating on a background that uh, is a little cosmic. She is also uh, evoking uh, the idea of a dancer, a cabaret dancer. We can see the different movement here of the legs and we could interpret also this background of the painting as a sitter set with this play of light on the backside. Uh, this painting is very interesting because it announces uh, different uh, thematics that will be uh, very important in the work of Kiki Kogelnik. Uh, the first one is the question of the floating bodies and the imagination of the space. She was fascinated by uh, science fiction and by the space conquest. In this period, uh, Yuri Gagarin uh, had, uh, had his first flight, it was in 1957, and Valentina Tereshkova uh, would have her own one the very same year. Uh, the two were cosmonauts from the Soviet Union. And we would have to wait for 1969, of course, for the uh, first step of a man on the moon, American men. Uh, so in this period, this imagination of floating bodies, of uh, technologies, uh, is really important and uh, this uh, will be very present in the work of Kiki Kogelnik. Also probably because uh, the question of a floating body was a way to answer also to a still very conservative and very patriarchal period. Um, it's also, uh, it also announced uh, the question of the cyborg and the augmented bodies that would be really developed in the forthcoming years in her work. She was fascinated by the robots and by this idea of combining bodies with technologies. Uh, this is a kind of vision of the future, of what the technology will bring, maybe a better future, uh, uh, without any consideration of gender or with equality but maybe also a very frightening future with uh, robots uh, taking the power. So all this will be developed uh, by uh, Kiki Kukernik in the forthcoming years. And in, in this very bright, powerful and uh, beautiful painting in 63, all this is announced. And it's also a real pop manifesto of that time.